Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Havoc Quest 2.0 for our Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is also codenamed as Vired, or the Redmi Note 5 AI, it's also called in China, and it's based on USB this time with Android 9.0.5. Pi. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, we're starting with the launcher, we have the Pixel launcher, and as you can see, we have this Google colored icons also. At a glance, is working really well. So, as you can see, into the home settings, which is the launcher, we get notification dots. At a glance, add icons to home screen, visible Google apps, suggestions, and other home screen. Rotation. Also, it doesn't have much of the apps like I have to install the calendar and also the Google Chrome, so they are missed. So, you can install it from the Play Store. And then we have here have box settings, and as you can see, the UI is tweaked too much, like those icons, some of the icons, as you can see, they are inline icons, and yeah, outlined, just the outline is there. Uh, yeah, also in the quick settings, as you can see, the uh, option for Wi-Fi has that outline icon. So let's yeah. start with the main thing which is Havoc settings and that's what it's famous for ultimate customization like the most customizable ROM is Havoc. Then now let's take a look at the settings here in the status bar. Now I will just quickly get you some like extra features as you can see hide notch but it won't work for us because we don't have a notch. So yeah I will just take out some of the uh, like other options here as you can see show data disabled icon and it will just give a cross mark so just to remove it you just disable this then we have quick settings options and a lot of options are available for quick settings customization too so you can use them uh, i can say settings icon and all then we have the interface option expanded desktop mode is available also we have the background color icon color quick settings style so this is the new thing which is added we can see circle with trim and it will change the quick settings look now if you choose square curl so it will do it square curl as you can see and the default ones but i have the dual toned circle uh, as you can see there are uh, there is another tone inside if you have switched it on so this is really great and we have font size smallest width which is the custom dpi and i always love 411 so you can also just try it and we have the ambient display and we have now playing feature and it works really well but it will drain your battery a lot because it keeps searching for something and also we have always on display as you can see it works really well also with this uh, battery level so yeah okay let's that's great then we go here we have tilt pickup hand wave but these options will drain your battery so make sure you can like you will switch them off even if it's not in use and also we have smart pixels no use for our lcd display we have the screen stabilization working really well shake shaky we have the buttons volume rockers and we have this options as you can see you can customize it later and also we have the advanced reboot option just place that here then we have the navigation bar, pixel animation, navigation buttons and you can swipe back and recent but as you can see we just get this here so yeah this is how to switch that back and recent and also we can check out this layout so that this uh, back button comes up closely then we have the one handed mode and allow swiping across from left navbar uh, one handed mode okay so this is how to enable it and again to disable this uh, what to do okay just click on that so this is how to enable it oh, what what did I do exactly okay so this is how to enable the uh, one handed mode and, and literally I did it for the first time even I didn't know the one handed mode <laughs> existed so yeah so you can use this like it's so handy you can use it in a one hand you can also switch it at this side so this is what i did take it here and you can just press this button so you can use it in the left hand so yeah just tap on this oh my god that's great gestures we have system gestures and here we can see swipe up on home button and if you disable this you will get your normal navigation bar now the swipe up on home button this is enabled by default so some people will be like if it's working or not then we have swipe gestures and we also have swipe up gestures and we have edge gestures now the edge gestures are working as you can see let's enable them and as you can see uh, okay let's uh, 
let me tell you how to do it great so set the delay to 250 ms and haptic feedback to zero and as you can see now they work really well and we also have this little animation here so that's great uh, yeah that's totally great we also have app circle bar okay let's turn off the edge caches for now and we also have this spy control so you can like go for first I need to use this thing okay so pie control is not okay so it's enabled from the left side so as you can see this is a pie control you can use this uh, this controls to get back to recents home or back button Let's continue with the customizations with lock screen as you can see we have the lock screen customization to a lot is there here you can take a look at that then we have recent and recent style uh, so you can see stock recent style pie or audio you can switch then we have notifications battery charging notifications so you can set it up yeah and also we have these options uh, vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting vibrate on disconnect vibrate, vibrate on vibrate for notifications too so that's great we have weather info and weather works really well animations uh, system options allow signature spoofing a great option show cpu info so this is how it's shown and app ops choose activity blacklist and burn in protection but it's applicable mostly for AMOLED devices then we have IME settings select notification it's related to the keyboard then we have the battery saving option and we have miscellaneous stuff so these are all of the customizations present in the have a now for the performance this uh, rom is a bit laggy while playing games other than that while surfing using youtube it's really great but while playing pubg i had some lags which i didn't had in so it's because of the heavy framework like because of it's the most customizable rom so yeah you can play great uh, pubg i like played a lot uh, so yeah you can also play it uh, it's playable it's not that heavy lag or that lag which you already which you literally call lag but it's a like little minor lag is present so it's okay and also uh, the battery life of this rom is great like i've used as the rom for like four to five days and now this is uh, my uh, second or third uh, charge cycle so as you can see one day nine hours ago used and 8 hours 45 minutes is the screen on time and these are the apps most used chrome youtube pubg mobile actually telegram i have used on the pc so it was not so level so since the pubg i played for 2 hours and 30 minutes and yeah pubg battery life uh, if you play one game and you uh, like come uh, in the 10th position or like below that you will easily lose 7 percent of battery so yeah this is how i consider uh, and yeah it's good for gaming also the battery is great so yeah I, I can like literally suggest you to install this ROM and yeah uh, that's it uh, for this video uh, for now and you can easily install this ROM through uh, TLRP recovery just flash the ROM in G apps uh, and I suggest nano G apps because it has face unlock so yeah and don't worry if you don't get the face unlock just enable the trust agents that's great and yes uh, We'll just stop by here and we'll see you guys in the next video. Till then you can just subscribe or just like and also dislike whatever your wishes. Uh, but just after seeing the video and also you can just comment down below. Yeah, for all of the feedback and all of the questions or whatever you want to ask about this ROM. So yeah guys, bye bye. Till then subscribe and like this video. Bye bye.